What is up everybody? It's your girl Ree and today we are at Animal Kingdom with my mom. Hi! <laughs> Just like all the other parks, we did have to go through temperature screenings and security as always. Signs were posted everywhere to stay six feet apart from other parties. And honestly, this place is not as packed as you think it would be. This is honestly one of my favorite parts about Animal Kingdom. This is a tree of life. And as you can see, there are so many different carvings of animals within the bark of this tree. When you really stop and look and study what's carved in here, there are so many different animals. And honestly, the detail is amazing. Of course, you know we had to stop and see Zabumafu, or if you're technical, a lemur. Hi, Zabumafu! What I love about Animal Kingdom as well is that it's just so luscious and green. Check out this little bumblebee that loved the plants. First stop was Dino Land, and of course it's geared for little kids, but it's still fun. We started to hear some music playing, so we walked over the bridge and saw Rafiki. What's the name of the show? Now, for the longest time, we were the only people on the bridge watching this, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of people started walking up. So I promised we weren't hogging it. And of course, we had to say bye. Now, not all the rides were open in Dino Land, but we did ride one. And as you can see, my mom was really excited for it. <laughs> Woo! So look at this, guys. This is really cool. And mom, mom, what are mom? What are you doing? I didn't want to see if it was a boy or a girl. <laughs> that joke was 100% real, authentic not staged. We headed over to Everest and I was so excited for this one because my mom is a adrenaline junkie, I swear. But when we first arrived, it wasn't even open. It was still shut down. However, we waited there and ended up walking onto the ride, not once, but twice. As with all parks, they are still doing the six feet social distancing markers within the line. and the line shields as well. This park also has little monkeys just chilling in the middle of the park. We have to line for the river rapids. And while you have the opportunity to get really soaked on these, luckily we did not. We did the jungle track and we actually got some really good footage in here. This guy's tough to see. He looks like a log. Now this enclosure was really cool because it housed a couple different kind of animals. However, the most interesting one was the Malayan flying fox bat, or better known as the giant flying fox bat. Now there was an attendant or like zookeeper who was watching over and making sure that everyone was keeping a safe distance from the animals and that nothing crazy was going to happen. So this person's in here all the time. 
And the common behavior for these animals is to stay up above and not be seen. So when this happened, we were so excited to be able to witness something so rare. Here he comes. That is so cool. Come so cute. Now here you can see them crawling back up and going back to their usual state. So that was not only cool to be able to witness, but also be able to film. Talk about being at the right spot at the right time. Now again, you can see those signs posted saying for your safety, stay six feet apart from the other parties. The jungle walk wasn't very packed though, so we didn't have to worry too much about that. This is the welcoming committee. We entered the bird exhibit and got to see some pretty cool exotic birds, along with some pretty cool bird houses, which is pretty fitting. <laughs> Might as well drive. Right, no, 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 no. Let's go. And some crazy statues too. So this is the Avatar ride, and every time I come here, I'm still so impressed with how this was designed. It's so beautiful. So on this ride, you do have to wear these glasses because it is virtual reality. Um, and it's actually really, really cool. Now, sadly, because it is virtual reality and you are moving so much with the machinery and the ride, um, I couldn't take the phone with me and film this ride, unfortunately. So I might pronounce this wrong, but this is Navi's River Ride. And this ride is actually pretty cool. It's very chill, very relaxed. They're only doing one party per log, so you won't have two separate parties in one little log ride. So that was pretty cool to see that they weren't gonna make us sit with another party and um, break that six feet social distance rule. All right, so here's some of my favorite clips within the ride. on the safari got to see the real tree of life and a lot of different animals 
But the health and safety point on this ride was that they did put up shields between each seat. And again, no two different parties were sitting at the same bench. All right, guys, so that was Disney's Animal Kingdom. Tell me what you think below in the comments about their safety procedures and all of the rides that we rode today. Just a few reminders. So as you can hear, I did get interrupted, unfortunately. <laughs> and when I refilmed, I completely forgot to press record. So please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the safety procedures and how Disney's Animal Kingdom is handling the pandemic. And let me know if you've got any tips, tricks, or fun things to do at Disney. Make sure you get on that roller coaster because you will pee your pants. Oh my God.